Ladies and gentlemen, Science Drave here with Crisis 2 multiplayer doing some team deathmatch. And I have to say, I was just craving it for some reason. I felt like I wanted to do some science fiction multiplayer of some sort. Looks like that might have been a bad spawn for him, not sure what that was about. There's a guy in the distance over there. Oh, somebody's invisible over there, not sure. But uh, it was recently on sale, 75% off on Steam, although I did already own Crisis 2. Uh, I decided to also pick up the Maximum Edition, which had a few of the uh, extra maps added to it for multiplayer, as well as uh, some exclusive weaponry. And the high-res texture pack just built into it alongside the DX11 stuff, so uh, if you don't have those things, they are... Of course, free to download if you need them. The, in regards to the texture pack, uh, but not the multiplayer maps. Of course, you have to get those separately, or through the maximum edition. So, that is that. Although I do believe that Steam sale is probably at an end now because I'm recording this on a Monday, and that was mostly a weekend deal. Uh, please keep in mind that I am fresh meat in this game, quite the noob. Don't know half of what's going on, so I'm just trying to figure things out. But, uh, we'll see how it goes. Been doing okay. Adjusted my mouse sensitivity a little bit and things have been a lot better. Tend to play with a lower sensitivity setting on most shooters. But I think, uh, most people do- Oh! Taking shots in the back! Wow, that was fast. <laughs> what are you getting with it? With a pistol too, huh? I'm not sure. But it seems like you take more damage to the back. I'm not sure, again. But that's what I've noticed. Where's he going? Where did that guy go? I think perhaps up here. Oh, friendly got him, though. Never mind. Alright. Get rid of the cloak. I always forget to turn on my maximum armor ability. Or at least it's usually too late by the time I realize that I need it. And let's see what we've got here. I almost forget how pretty this game actually is. Shots left, I think. There we go. Oh, another one. Oh, reload. Come on. He's down via friendly. A lot of people utilize the cloak. It seems to be the number one choice for just sneaking around. Which, in most games, I usually hate cloaking devices. But since everybody has it, you really can't complain that much. Where is he? Shoot. Ah, I was trying to switch to my pistol, and that was not working. Kill cam. Into the face. See, because the number two button... Okay, number two is not my pistol. Scrolling is my pistol, but two... What does two do? Nothing? I might have to look into that, because I'm more used to actually just hitting two versus the scroll wheel. Oh, snap. I wasn't paying attention to that. All right, gotta get back in the focus mode. Gotta get back in the focus mode. Let's see. I kind of feel like I want a submachine gun, but I haven't unlocked one yet. Where's that guy out there? Friendly's on him. It's real easy to get flanked here and overwhelmed because the maps are so small. I mean, they're adequate size for, for a deathmatch game, you know? And there are some different game modes, and I haven't seen all the maps, especially the new ones yet, so I'll be curious to see if they're any larger. But, oh, shots from the back. Where'd he go? Because I have the uh, threat tracer ability on which uh, creates tracer fire, so you can kind of find the direction of the enemy. And on this 
weapon, I have the extended magazine, so I should have some more ammo capacity as well. And you know what's actually kind of nice about it? About this game is there aren't that many weapons. Oh, that guy's got like a sniper rifle or something in the window there. I was gonna say there aren't a whole lot of weapons. There's a few decent ones and that's it. And and I kind of miss that. There's like two submachine guns, there's maybe four assault rifles, there's a couple of shotguns and some sniper rifles. And that's all there needs to be. I don't need 50 weapons. You know, a gun in many respects is a gun depending on the caliber of the round, you know, and sometimes it's just overdone with all these weapon choices. Ow. <laughs> Where did that guy come from? Uh, oh, with melee. Melee to the face. I like how I'm wearing, you know, this insane crisis suit that can stop bullets, but when it comes to somebody smacking you with the butt of a rifle, that's it. It's video game logic for you, folks. I lost that guy. Where did he go? There he is. Oh, what did he have? He had some sort of insane weapon. Oh, he had the mounted weapon that you can pick up. I don't want that right now, though. Got to pay more attention to my minimap, I know. Hard to do that and talk at the same time. Sometimes. You gotta watch out for those cloaked units as well. I keep seeing them in the corner of my eye sometimes. And there are, of course, uh, different vision modes that you can equip, I believe. That will allow you to detect uh, the stealthers. Not getting them. Come on. Oh. <sighs> Got him with the pistol, but I think somebody else is on me. I think. I'm not sure. Let's fall back a little bit here. So I can check my primary. Oh, one switches to it, but... Alright, that's that. Uh, here's this other vision mode. That's the final kill, I guess, of the round. I forgot how beautiful this game is. It is a really gorgeous game engine. And, of course, running fairly smooth. What do we do there? I guess... What is... Okay, I was trying to make out what the... I think I was 7 and 7 in terms of my kill-to-death ratio, but... Score, armor XP... Fantastic music in this game as well, by the way. Okay, I think that uh, the score sheet had shown kills, assists, and deaths. So I think I was... Not my best game, but whatever. I was talking to a friend of mine the other day, too, in regards to kill-to-death ratio on, on stat boards within video games. And we're discussing how... In some ways, they just make things worse. Uh, Tribes Ascend is, is phenomenal because it actually only shows your kills. It doesn't show your deaths. That way, there's no arguing or fighting over who did what. It's just there. You're there to have fun. Here's how many kills you got. That's fine. But is there really a need to show your deaths other than to maybe just, you know, see how horrible somebody is? I mean, at the end of the day, it's not a tournament. Money's not on the line for the most part. Uh, I'm going to go with my custom class loadout again. So, I don't know. I I think showing the deaths is not always necessary. I don't really care. I don't even care about seeing my kills half the time. I want the team to win. If the, if the victory screen pops up, then mission accomplished. But people that are just so obsessed with kill-to-death ratio. You know, people on YouTube actually posting videos. Oh, you know, with the title... 103 kill to death ratio. I I don't care. <laughs> I mean, maybe other people do. I sure don't. All right. I don't know that I don't remember this map 
Have I played this map before? Is this one that came with it? Or is this one of the new ones? I'm trying to think. It looks... No, I think this one... I think this one came with the game. I remember the parking garage. Uh-oh. My map is scrambled. Oh! What was that? Whoa, buddy! Friendly fire! Check your fire. Interesting that we have a lot of people moving together here. It's, don't usually see this, and especially in a game like this. Friendly. Oh, there we go. There's another one. Oh, he blasted me. <laughs> what did he hit me with? Uh, ah, he just got some good shots on me. That's it, I guess. And this game is all the water like that's falling on you. Coach your visor. I keep forgetting about the armor mode. So I need to really focus on using the maximum armor. Contacts up top. There's one down. Reload. See if he can pop back down. I'm just working at some range here. That's a body. Sometimes it's just best to stay at range. Yeah, I remember this map now. From when I first bought the game and jumped into some multiplayer. Some explosions over there. I also do have grenades that I should probably take advantage of. I also have uh, an ability that uh, hides my footsteps, I think. Here's somebody over here. Stuff's blowing up everywhere. A bit of an assist there. Watching this lower part of the parking garage. I think somebody just kicked the car. I also need to figure out where my melee button is. Probably use that once in a while. Enemy radar oh crap! There's maximum armor, but a little late. Frag out! Oh well, the grenade get him. Yes. <laughs> that was that was a bad play on my part, but at least the grenade went out. Alright, that's a friendly firing out that way. Go, go, go. Cover me. I'm reloading. Pretty intense. Obviously the game's gorgeous and sound effects are fantastic. I would say that uh, Battlefield, the Battlefield series of games since Bad Company and Up plus Crisis Two have some of the uh, greatest sound effects in, in video gaming. Oh crap, grenade! Oh, where did that come from? I'm just chilling out there. I'm like, oh, I'm safe over here, firing at distance, and then grenades like, hi. Remember me? But yeah, great sound effects. Fan like above average sound effects, you know. And really important. A lot of games, they don't care. They're like, eh, whatever, sound effects. He's done. 
starting to remember that maximum armor a little bit. Friendlies. I almost wonder though, I don't see a lot of people using the submachine guns. I think they unlock at a higher level. Oh, and I'm down. That's when I should have used the maximum armor. But I think, you know, the sub guns are going to do less damage, so I don't even know if they're worth it. But he got me with a shotgun, it looked like. I see a lot of people using the shotties. Which makes me wonder if they're a little uh, OP in some respects, because typically... I don't know. Again, I don't play Call of Duty, so I know a lot of people use shotguns in that, I think, from some of the videos I've seen. But... Usually it's kind of like the the weapon you're going to grab when you know the level is right. Because most of the time you're going to need some range. I've been doing okay with these assault rifles. This one that I'm using here, I believe, is the exclusive uh, one. Frag out. Oh, grenade didn't get him on that one. The uh, This rifle, I believe, came with... Uh, the maximum edition. I don't know if there was another way to get it, but it seems pretty good. It's it's fairly accurate. I also have uh, the ability to uh, make my shots more accurate while I'm scoped in. But again, I kind of want to play around with the custom class mechanics as well. There's not too much. Like, it's not overpowering, you know? It's just... There just seems to be the right amount of things in the game to give you a little bit of fun. Except when you're getting shot in the face like that and not paying attention to anything. <laughs> I'm not used to playing games with uh, full-on kill cameras anymore these days, but... Because if you think about it in some respects, it gives away your position. If you're wondering where you got hit from, you're like, oh, I'm just going to go and get that guy. Because now I know where he is, thanks to the kill cam. I forgot that I have this, like, massive jump, too. That I can't use without my energy, of course, but... Oh, having a no-scope there. Oh, with victory. Nice, did I get final kill? Is that me? Oh, no, this guy got it. <laughs> I don't care. I'll take it. We win. That's good enough for me. Top scorers. And I did terrible. What's with me matching my K to D? 6 and 6. Last time it was 7 and 7, I think. That's just how bad you are, I guess. I could have done worse, I suppose. Uh, Okay, new dog tag. Getting closer to level 9. Power stealth XP. Continue on through here, and I think that's going to be it for now, guys. I think uh, this has been a fun little look at some of the Crisis 2 multiplayer, which again, recently was on sale. The whole Crisis collection was on sale on Steam, and 75% off was nothing to sneeze at but of course uh crisis 3 is on the horizon so that's probably why there's been the sales you know they, they always like to get out some extra copies before their next game comes out and uh i'm sure i'll get into it i actually haven't even finished the single player for this game i just i just i don't know i just never had the time for it and never really could get into it but i think i might try to hopefully at least because a buddy of mine tells me it's really really good and, uh, you know, maybe we'll do some Crisis 3. But I like this multiplayer. I might do a few more videos of it, uh, depending on the response. It's it's fun. I mean, it's, you know, I enjoy Blacklight Retribution. Uh, I enjoy things that are a little deathmatchy from time to time. Uh, I'm not completely against games like that. So, you know, I'm open to trying new things. And it's fun once in a while. And considering that I don't have much in regards to tactical shooters to keep me busy this is uh still something that i can enjoy and you know and, and i can accept the fact that it takes a few more rounds to kill people because you are wearing some crazy sci-fi battle armor and it makes more sense but even then it, it it's still pretty lethal you can get dropped pretty quickly especially with uh 
shots to the back and, and headshots. Um, but we'll have to figure it out. Play with the uh, custom classes a little bit more. Maybe unlock some more of the weapons and, and see how it goes. Because right now, I'm mostly seeing people with uh, some of the lower end gear. And uh, that's probably because most people bought this for 75% off and are just now getting into it. Because you can usually see some lower level players. Perhaps the higher level ones have abandoned the game and maybe they're all playing Black Ops 2 now. I don't know. But uh, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, with that said, thank you so much for joining me and I will see you on the next one.